In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a uh, fissure in VB.net. Um, you want to open up your Visual Basic 2010. Um, I've just got the Express version which is free. Um, I'll put a download link in the description um, so you can go get it if you want it. You want to click New Project. And a Windows Form application. Uh, once we've got it open we'll make it a bit bigger so we've got a bit more room to work with uh, if it'll stop freezing there we go so you want to just click on the form itself and this text down here we'll just um, name this obviously don't call it fish here I'm just calling it this so we've got so we know what it is and I don't like it saying form 1 and stuff like that um, first thing that we're going to add is a text box now this I'm going to show you, all I'm going to show you here is how to set up a basic one with the username, the password field and a login button um, I'm, I'm not going to show you like a customized version because you can customize it yourself um, to whatever game or whatever you want to fish kind of thing. Um, I'll show you a, a quick RuneScape one afterwards just for an example but I'm just going to show you the basics in this um, video. And we're going to get a label I'm going to click the text down here and you want to change this to username put these across a bit so they look a bit more even we'll change this tag to password and now on this top box you want to rename it to txt username password we will name txt password and on this password one you want to click the box so you've actually got you got all the properties open and you want to go down to where it says password here and you want it in there just put a star and click enter that's so when anybody writes anything in the password box it's going to come up with stars so they'll feel a bit more secure uh, then you want a button and we'll just call this login we'll not call it but change the text to login and we'll change the name to btn login extend this button across so it looks a bit more better now as you can see this is a very basic thing and I'm just doing this so you can see the basic function um, if you want to, I'll, I'll show you, as I say, I'll show you a more advanced one afterwards, so we'll just get into it. You want to double click this login button here, so we get the code up. The first thing you're going to want to do, let me just go over to my other screen for a second and move this recorder. The uh, first thing you want to do is add some imp an import. You want to import system.net dot mail and this lets us use the mail functions uh, built into the dot net framework the first thing you want to do in the code is declare a new mail message dim mail message as new mail message and then we're going to set the properties for the mail message that we've just um, we've just set up so the from the from box it will be new mail address and this is going to be whatever your email address is um, you're going to have to have a gmail one because I'm going to show you a gmail one so the one that I set up is indextest at gmail.com 
So that's the one you want to put in there. Yeah, all this, the entire project files I'll put into the description as well. anyway. Um, YouTube won't let me post the actual code, but I'll just put all the files in the description. So go download that if you want to skip all this bit. Um, my mail message dot to dot add and again you just want to put your email address now why are we putting an equal sign we don't need an equal sign index test at gmail dot com my mail message dot subject equals and here we want to put. Um, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna show you. I'm, I won't put RuneScape. I'll put um, account um, dash and then txt username dot text. Basically, what that is is um, I've just put the subject for the email is going to be account dash and then whatever they put in the username box um, just so you can quickly run through if you want a specific username that kind of thing and then finally my mail message dot body equals and then here, and here we want to put username dash and txt username dot text and then and space and then we'll put one of these just for make it a bit neater um, password dash and txt password dot text yeah, there are all the properties for our mail message and then when we declare the SMTP server in a second when we're ready to send the message we can just send um, my mail message and it'll send using them properties um, so now we'll declare the new SMTP client so dim SMTP server as new SMTP client and then in brackets you have to put the SMTP client which we are using the gmail one which is smtp.gmail.com then smtp server.port equals the normal the normal port which is 587 smtp server.credentials equals new system.net dot network Credential. You forgot to spell credential then, um, and then we want the first um, argument is whatever your email address is for Gmail, mdextext um, gmail dot com, and then you want to put a comma, and then the next uh, main quotation marks you want to put your password, which in my case is hacker one two three four five, and then. As I say, if you want to just um, go and get what we're we doing here, go and get the code from the description, then go ahead. I just thought I would put, I would show you, just run it down and just show you me creating it from scratch because some people, some people want that kind of thing. Oh, I don't, that's it. We don't want network access credentials. Network credentials. I couldn't see what was wrong then. <laughs> uh, you want to enable SSL. Sorry, it reminds you in blank. Try and do this. Try and concentrate on two things at once. Try and keep track of the time whilst still doing this. It's going to run over to two videos because we've nearly done one video here. So just I'll upload them both at the same time. So just go click on the other one. It'll be an annotation somewhere or something like that. 